Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show how to integrate AWS API Gateway with FIFO SQS. That's a special type of SQS which AWS provide. As you know, uh, there are many tutorials with uh, integrate with API Gateway with normal SQS, standard SQS. But this tutorial is going to be uh, how to integrate with API Gateway with SQS. So it, it's a little bit different with the standard uh, SQS because uh, we need to, when we create a message to a FIFO queue, we need to create a, a group group ID, a message group ID and the deduplication ID. So when the when the message comes to the API gateway, we need to do some transformation which populate which can populate a group ID and the deduplication ID from the payload and we can pass to uh, pass to the FIFO queue. So that's something we're gonna do uh, in this tutorial uh, step by step. So at the same time, uh, this is gonna be a series of tutorial related to the AWS services. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Let's get in. Right. First of all, so hopefully you have a, a free account or the, uh, any paid account in AWS. So in this case, I'm using a free account, the free tier, so you don't need to get paid. Uh, the first let's go to uh, let's create a, a queue in AWS. So let's go to the AWS uh, console. Uh, al already I am logged into the console. So let's uh, if you are not familiar with this, let's try with the SQS uh, simple queue service. And once you load, let's go to create a new queue. Like in over here, what we're gonna do, we select the FIFO, not the standard one, and let's give it a name, uh, demo, demo QUE, and uh, uh, make sure uh, it's ending with the FIFO, otherwise uh, you are not allowed to create a, a FIFO queue. So I put the name, then let's go to here. Pretty much you can keep the all the, the settings and configuration as standard, and I'm just click on uh, create. Let's go to create. Right, so as, as you can see, you can, uh, it's the queue got created with the standard configuration, uh, nothing major. So click on the queue. Yes, we do have a queue now. Now let's go to API Gateway. So same way you can uh, search API Gateway in the search bar and I'll open the API Gateway. So currently, uh, nothing on API gateway under a list this list so I'm going to create a new one so there are many many options you can uh, use to create a API gateway in our my case what I'm going to create uh, the fourth third option which is rest API it's a rest API with the public access so this is a demo so I don't need to worry about the security uh, because uh, I'm going to delete this API uh, endpoint after after this tutorial I select the API and I'm going to build the, a new API. Let's click on the build and asking uh, you're going to create the first one. Yes, of course. And then it's come up with uh, some example. I'm not going to use the example. I'm creating a, a new API. So in over in the top of the uh, the configuration, you can select the rest of web circuit. So I'm going to select a rest and create the new API. So let's go to give a name, like an API name, uh, let's say demo, uh, demo one and description uh, demo API with uh, FIFO SQS. Right. Keep it as a rest of thing as a, a default and I'm gonna create the API. This is, you get presented with the once you create the API and over here I'm clicking the action button and create the method. So this method, I'm going to create a, a post method uh, in the root root in the root and uh, uh, click on the tick. So this is where I got the uh, post post endpoint. Right. Once you get the endpoint, so you can select the integration type as a AWS service. It's a default is Lambda uh, because most of the people uh, get integrate API gateway with the Lambda. In this case, we are gonna use SQS. You select the AWS services and uh, keep it as a AG region. Uh, I'm in uh, Australia, uh, I'm select uh, Sydney. 
you can select uh, wherever you uh, you have seats and AWS services you can pick uh, let's go to further down it should be a SQS uh, simple SQS and the domain you can keep it as a domain and uh, here I'm gonna choose post and this is a trick so because we are using uh, SQS you need to use action type as a uh, the second option which is use path override so once you get the path you need to give uh, the path override you need to give uh, the path to the your sqs so if i open the the other tab here as the sqs seats i'm opening the sqs uh, queue and then what i'm doing i'm copy from here from the my account id from the account ID to the uh, until its name so I'm paste here you can see my account ID and then the queue name this is how you need to do the same thing in your case you your account ID and the whatever the the your uh, queue name so then we need to give the uh, execution role so this is execution role you need to give a permission to insert a message so you can you should have your role should have a send a message permission to our FIFO queue. So let's create a new role. So I'm going to uh, find I am a role, open in the new tab so I can keep this one intact. And go to here, I'm creating a new role, right? So I'm again creating a new role. So what gonna do, I'm selecting as an AWS service is API Gateway, right? API Gateway, then, uh, okay. I need to select the API gateway and right it's default it's get the uh, some permission to cloud but what we need to do we will update this role with the uh, with the proper uh, permission let's give let's give it a name this one say demo role API SQS uh, copy the name and just uh, let's go to there and create role once you create the role uh, let's find this role and let's update the role with the proper permission so over here it's come with a, a cloud lock uh, push but we need the permission let's add the permission to uh, send a message to SQS so if you search SQS, you can see uh, some permission, predefined permission to particular um, related to SQS. I'm going to give a full permission to SQS where I can do anything on uh, SQS, mess, SQS queue, right? But you can you can fine tune this uh, permission as as you need. In this case, I'm going the full permission, right? So once you create, I get the ARN of this particular role. I'm copy that ARN and go back to the API gateway, the, the first skin where I going to create the API gateway and paste the execution role here. And keep the content handling is passed through and uh, keep the user uh, use default timeout. And once you save it, so it basically it's give a, a kind of uh, post uh, some some UI. It's case um, this is the method request, this is integration request, and this is a response kind of thing. So what we need to do, we need to click on the integration request because we need to do some uh, modification because uh, we need to do some transfer the 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 response, and we need to map some parameter from the response to a queue let's go uh, think about the the message is something like uh, uh, what do you call uh, give me uh, give me a sec right let's think about the the payload it's coming to api gateway is something like this it comes with the uh, json of json data uh, and it has a data and uh, within the data we do have a job number and let's say you do have a name, uh, uh, any uh, JSON string test uh, demo, demo name. So this is something it's coming to API Gateway. What we need to do, we need to pass this message to the uh, queue, 
right so let's let's do the uh, transformation what we need to do we need to uh, first thing is we need to go to the http header and uh, we need to add a, a http header so the first thing is we need to uh, it's a content type we need to add uh, a content content type as uh, content type as uh, application uh, slash uh, I'll paste it here application slash www.form.unencoded un, uh, url encoded right so one trick is over here if you click on that just it it's perfectly saving if you if you if you miss this one of this code single code it's not allowed to save it you will see the error so this is i got a many times there therefore i thought it's better to show you guys because you guys get the same error so make sure you have a, a single code around the uh, map from uh, this property so once you save it yep it save it perfectly uh, then if go further down this is where you need to do some mapping as, as i mentioned uh, the the payload we are assuming it's coming something like uh, data and job number and name right for the fifo queue we need a, a deduplication id and the group id so what we need to do we need to add kind of mapping so how do we do add uh, we added application application.json as a, a new mapping content type and click on this one and here we need to uh, do kind of some data passing data manipulation how do we do that uh, copy the content this is something you need to do uh, paste right so this is a, a set so what we're gonna do uh, deduplication id deduplication id we, as i mentioned for the fifo queue we need to pass a deduplication id and the group id and the content so over here what we're gonna do uh, deduplication id request id it's a it's a random guide you can got anything deduplication ID, as far as it's unique it should be okay but the group id as you can see we are getting we are extracting group id from the payload which is come to the uh, api gateway right so as i mentioned this is the uh, payload and uh, we need to get the job number we need to pass the job number as a group id so how, how do we do that so what we're gonna do we read the data the job number from the response and we pass this group id over the message uh, with the message group id assign it to message group id uh, so up to here it's getting the data uh, the extract the uh, value and over here what we do say action okay action is a send message we are sending the message to the sqs and this is the message body whatever the body we are providing it's going to be whole body and the message group id will be the one that we are extracting from the response and the, uh, the other bit is message duplication id that's all you need to do let's uh, save this one what happened it's uh, seems like it's cool uh, I'll, I'll, it's a zoom out okay cool yeah so as i mentioned i'll, I'll quickly go through we set the aws uh, as a service and set the post and give the path override which is path to the uh, actual queue and the execution role which has a permission to send message to the queue and then uh, http header we added the content type url encoding make sure you have it's come with the single code please please make sure it's come with a single code otherwise you it's not allowed to save it uh, and then we are doing the mapping template and with the application json so this is where you mapping you can do the uh, custom logic here you can grab any other properties in the json file and you can pass and you can build the uh, message so once it's done let's go to the method execution and we let's do some testing right so the request body let's say we pass in the request body as mentioned uh, this is a message uh, thinking okay we are passing the uh, 
pass in the request request as something like this this is request goes to the gateway and we will do the some testing so what you can see you can see the the response from the okay this is response it's uh, the data it's transforming the body and uh, yeah look like it's working let's go to the queue and let's have a look go to the queue and give a refresh yes it, it's populated uh, let's have a look what the message is go to the message send a message uh, go for the down and let's see what's the message uh, look like and yeah we got the message okay cool right we as you see uh, the whole whatever the message we send it's come with the body and if you go to the details a message group id the one that we send it's perfectly it's extracted and it's create the deduplication id right so uh, we haven't sent any attribute but body and the details it's perfectly uh, populated so this is how you integrate api gateway with the uh, with the f4q so as usual it's it's pretty easy to do in a, a normal queue but standard queue but for the uh, FIFO queue, we need to do a bit of uh, uh, transformation to create the message group ID and the message duplication ID. That's all about this tutorial. If you have any question or comment, please write down below. And again, uh, if you find this content is useful and enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. So until then, we will see you on next video. Thanks.